Always tough to talk food this time of the show it when is. our stomach starts growling. But LaGrange <laughs> Restaurant Week starts today. It's happening starting today throughout the downtown area and the west end of the village in the western suburbs. Yeah, we've told you about Chicago Restaurant Week. We've told you about Black Restaurant yeah. Week. And so now some of the suburbs are picking mm -hmm. up on this too. Trying to showcase okay, some of our locally owned eateries. Our Jackie Kostek touring downtown LaGrange to see a few of the restaurant offerings. Good morning, Jackie. Where are you starting us out this morning? Yeah, Ryan and Audrina, good morning to you. We are at the Elm, which is here in uh, downtown LaGrange. I'm here with Dan Spain, uh, who started this restaurant with your wife, right? Good yeah. morning to you. Good morning. Thanks for having us. Well, thank you so much for having us this morning. We've got the food over there that we'll show you in just a second, but we wanted to show off the space first because this place is 13,000 square feet. Can you sort of describe the aesthetic and just how large this place is? I mean, people can come for private events, all of it. Yeah, no, thank you. So so it's um, two stories. We got three private event rooms. This is our main dining room. We also have a 2,700 square foot rooftop deck. Mm -hmm. We did enclose it. Yes. So it's nice. You can enjoy that throughout the year. Yeah. And so, you know, my wife and I, we were in residential development in the city. We decided to come out, do this venture. Yes. We're so happy that we that we did it. Yes. We've had amazing uh, community support. And so it's really been a great team effort. We opened right after uh, COVID, and so it was an interesting time. So we're uh, really thankful that, you know, the community has uh, really accepted us, and it's been it's been a great ride, a wild three and a half years. I was going to say wild indeed. Let's go for a little walk, show off yeah. the rest of the space and the food and drinks that are going to be featured as part of uh, the Elms Lagrange Restaurant Week menus, uh, which I, Lagrange Restaurant Week, uh, the, all of the restaurants that are a part of this from today until March 3rd have to have uh, two different lunch op options and then three different dinner options. So Dan, what are we looking at right now? So this is actually a new item. This is our harvest salad. It looks so delicious. It's, uh, it's, it is delicious. So our chef did an amazing job. We're having some menu tweaks. She wanted to highlight this item. So you got um, arugula, baby spinach, Roasted butternut squash, yes. diced apples, candied pecans, crumbled goat cheese, and um, timed infused citrus oh vinaigrette. Oh my gosh. Okay, well that looks phenomenal. And also like a superfood salad, which I'm all about getting the greens in, all of that. Uh, let's move on to this dish. What is that? So this is our uh, chicken melonese dish. And so it's breaded chicken, roasted vine ripe tomatoes. And it's more, in a, so it's more of your traditional dish. People seem to love it, so that's why we're highlighting it um, for for this for this week. Amazing. Yeah. Uh, and then just sort of a classic turkey wrap, right? You can't go wrong with that. Or the the house made chips. Yeah. So they're house made. It's uh, something mm. that is people really love. So we wanted to highlight as, that as well. And people seem to uh, love our potato chips and our fries. So. Okay, Dan. These <laughs> are going to be addictive in the best way possible. We've got key lime pie. Uh, yeah. So mm. it's a. Uh, Key lime tart, it's oh. graham cracker crumbles along with a vanilla bean gelato. And so we're um, really, it's, it's, you know, obviously who doesn't like that, uh, especially for restaurant week. So people really seem to love it. We wanted to bring it out for restaurant week. And we're just happy that you all came out to to have us. Absolutely. Uh, real quick before we end, I just have to ask you about the the name, the Elm, because it's sort of around the whole restaurant. And I just I love these napkins with the Elm. But real quick, explain why you wanted to name this restaurant the Elm. So we wanted something historical. Uh, the founder of Lagrange, um, when it, Lagrange was founded, he wanted to uh, highlight. He w built trees mm -hmm. all around the the neighborhood, and so the Elm tree was something that was they were planted everywhere and so they're the uh quote unquote you know tree of lagrange and so we wanted to really highlight that it was something simple wanted to be green and um that's where we came up with it the elm part of lagrange restaurant week dan thank you so much for your time amazing spread here ryan and audrina back to you